Welcome to a second video taking a look at finding basic vectors. Um, here we've been asked to find the vectors y, uh, y, Z, X, P and so on. We're given some information on a diagram here. We're told that X, Y, P is a triangle, N is a point on A, P, and M is the midpoint of Y, P, that point there, and Y is the midpoint, this point here, of X, Z. We're also told that X the vector x to y is a, so from this point here to this point here it's being described as a. The vector x to n, so this point here to this point here is being described as 2b, and n to p is being just described as b. We've been asked to find the vectors, first of all, y to z. So y to z, now this is a fairly tough one because we, we haven't got any description here. However, what we have been told is this important bit of information here, which is that y is the midpoint, y is the midpoint of x to z. So if we are going from x to y and that's being described as a, then we're we're essentially here we're at the halfway point. So we're told that this direction going in from x to y going in that direction is a and that distance is being described as a as well. So to get from y to z that is also going to be a. Let's take a look at the next one, the vector x to p. So from this point here, uh, from this point here, use yellow, x to p we need to figure out what that vector is equal to. So here I'm going 2b to n, then I'm going another b to get to p. So what I could say is that I've got 2b plus another b, so what I could say is that the vector x to p is 3b. Let's take a look at the next one, p to x. So p to x, from this point here to this point here. So now I'm just going in the reverse direction to which I just came. So I know that x to p from x to p is 3b. So to go from p to x that's simply going to be negative 3b. I'm just going in the reverse direction. Now x to z. x to z. So from this point here to this point over here well, I know that x to y is a. I worked out earlier that y to z was also a. So I could say that it's a plus another a. So I could say that that is 2a. Part e is y to p. So from y, where's y? Up here. Down to p over here. Now we can't use this route here. We don't know what it is. We don't know this direction. We only know the directions of from x to y and x to p. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have to go around to get from y to p. So the first thing that we're going to do is go from y to x. So from y to x that gives us negative a. So y to x is negative a, we're going in the reverse direction of a. Then from x to p, well that's just plus 3b. Okay, last one, y to m. So to get from here, this point here, to this point in the middle here. So we've just worked out what y to p was. We've just worked out what that vector was coming down here. And we did that by going back on ourselves and then down. Now, we are told that m is the midpoint of yp. m is the midpoint of yp. So that means that it's simply just going to be half of the vector yp. So to go from y to m, that's just going to be half of yp. So it's simply going to be, our answer here is going to be negative half a plus half of 3b. So we could say that plus it's 1.5b. And so to go from y to m, it's going to be negative half a plus 1.5b.